In this video, we are going to learn about independent events. In order to do this, we're going to think about an example of two events that are independent from one another and how that affects their probabilities. So let's say we were playing a game in which we did two things. First, we flip a coin. And in order to win, you have to get heads. So we're interested in getting heads. Then you also roll a die. And then this time you're interested in getting a three because then you would win. Now these are two events, flipping a coin and rolling a die are two separate events. And they have their own probabilities. So the probability of flipping a coin and getting heads is one half because there are two possible outcomes. You could get heads or tails. So the probability of heads is one out of the two. And the probability of getting a three will be one out of six, because when you roll a die, there are six outcomes, if it's a traditional die with one, two, three, four, five, and six on it. And one of those six is a three. So the probability of getting a three is one out of six. Now, say you first flipped the coin and got heads. Does that affect whether or not you're going to get a three? In other words, does the probability of getting a three change from one sixth if you've gotten heads already? And the answer is no. In this case, these two events are independent, so their probabilities will remain the same regardless of what happens to the other one. And that's what it means for two events to be independent if their outcomes really have no effect on one another. And if something happens in one of the events, it won't change the probability of something else happening in the other event, okay? So when two events are independent, something cool happens. You can use what's called the multiplication rule if you wanna figure out the probability of both events happening. So say in this game, you had to get both heads and a three in order to win. And you want to figure out, well, what's the probability that I'll win this game? So what you're trying to do there is figure out what's the probability of getting a heads or getting heads and rolling a three. So the probability of getting heads and a three will just be the product of the two individual probabilities. And that only works because the two events are independent from another. So this multiplication rule only works for independent events. But because they're independent in this case, it means I can just multiply one half and one sixth in order to figure out the probability of winning by getting a heads and three, and you get one twelfth. So the probability of heads and three is one twelfth. Now this won't work if the two events are not independent. So you always have to check first if the events are actually independent. And sometimes it will say that in the problem in case it's not obvious. In something like this, when you're flipping a coin, rolling a die, you always have to sort of know that those would be independent events. Another thing to know is that this will work if you have even more than just two events. So say we had a third event in there like, for example, you were spinning a spinner, and that was the third thing that you had to do, and you had to land on a certain part of the spinner, that would be a third independent event. So you could just multiply in a third probability in order to figure out the probability of all three. So the multiplication rule works for two or more events as long as they're independent. 